Okay folks, welcome to Voyager Drive. As you can see there's been actually a bit of progress. Um, I have been guilty of not doing any updates, video updates, mainly because there's been such a rush to paint the house before the scaffolding goes. There were shorter days in daylight up until recently, so Literally every sort of minute of daylight had to be spent painting. No time wasting for filming. So this is the garage, a good looking gable, beautifully painted soffit boards. That's, uh, that's what I did. Actually I did a lot of it, uh, plus a bit of paid help from friends. And here we are on the north side of the house. And actually a little variation here, I introduced uh, cedar boards just give a bit of uh, interest to the entrance there after just a bit of soffit board so that still needs to be stained it's been a bit of a mission actually to get this thing painted completely the wrong time of year to do it uh, completely wrong time of year to build actually but um, as you know from my earlier blogs that that was due to delays out, out of our control um, but the the rain is just on and off showers. It's like April showers in the UK and not much good for painting. You just can't really plan a whole day of painting. You have to sort of put a coat on, hope it doesn't rain for a couple of hours and, and when it does rain be prepared to wash it back down for a rag. But overall things are heading in the right direction. Deck has still yet to be completed. But this scaffolding is due down any day soon. That means uh, the deck will be finished, down pipes on, etc, etc. So here we are inside the house. Um, I'll be taking a little tour, coming in through the front door. And this will be, that'll be where the kitchen is. And then dining room will be here. And then this area here, go down some steps, so it's split level, down the steps, and this is the lounge. And I'm really pleased actually because one thing that has worked, let's just go down the steps, is the amount of light coming into here. It's a south facing property, which in the southern hemisphere is the wrong way. And the sun comes in from the north. But the architect designed these north lights up here which seem to work really well the light really streams in right through the house right down to the lounge and of course you've got these uh, glass doors here to take advantage of the water view so the marina there and then we've got the you can see past the scaffold the um, top harbour part of the marina down there and it's just a little, little recreational beach just beyond it. I might have overcooked it in the ceiling height. I mean, I always did want, always did want big high ceilings. Um, in a small house, last thing I wanted for it to be was claustrophobic. But I'm going to need a mobile scaffold, a bit like this, just to change a light bulb. If you have a look at that. Four and a half meters high to the highest point. So we'll go through to the master bed, which is a wee bit on the small side to be honest. But it was either that or loose in space from the lounge, and I figured I'd rather have uh, more living space, than less um, uh, in, a, in a smaller master bed. And this would be. The ensuite, the shower, bath there. There's a bit of a surprise coming with the bath, which I'll show you when, when the surprise, um, bath is installed. And walking wardrobe there. We go through here to the other half of the house. So we've got the bedroom here. 
Probably best I show you, take you on a tour actually when the plasterboard's on because at the moment it's still difficult to work out quite what's going on. And then bedroom number three down this way. So today, at the time of recording anyway, is the 15th of October. The deadline is the 25th of November. So it's going to be quite tight, to be honest. Um, we can't put the plasterboard on because the timber's got to dry out. It failed its building inspection. Timber's got to be below a certain moisture content level before they allow you to put the plasterboard on, which is good. Um, and then this uh, electric second fix, painting, install kitchen bathroom. So potentially it could be done if the builder coordinates well. But otherwise I'm expecting a bit of delay at this stage. So because it failed, its inspection in terms of moisture content not being dry enough. I had to get this guy in to humidifier to try and dry out the house. The builder's confident that you know, just a few days it will dry out, but um, you can see the insulation's installed, so it will definitely slow the process down, but he seems pretty confident nonetheless. So that's it from me, and hopefully, be back with something more exciting to show you in a few weeks' time.